Hello there. Today we'll learn how to create a minimalist iOS 17 calendar widget on Android using Custom Widget Maker. It's a pretty simple tutorial and it won't require KWGT Pro and it'll take less than 5 minutes. So let's get started. First off, we'll add a 2x2 custom widget on our home screen. Once the widget is added, tap on it and tap create on the top left of the next screen. Tap the plus sign on top right and add a shape. It's going to be our base. By default, it's a square so we just have to make it larger. After that, round up the corners by 40. Good job, our base is ready. Tap save in case you accidentally close the app and you get to start over. Now add a stack group and within that stack group add another stack group. In the innermost stack group add a text layer. Open the text layer, tap the first box to edit what info you wanna show here. Remove what's in the formula editor already and we'll put here the formula for day. Tap current day name and remove one E from the formula that will give you day name in three letters. Once you do that go to paint and paint it red. Don't forget to tap apply. Now get back to text section again and change the font. We're gonna be using SF Pro Display Bold for this and you can download this Apple font from the link in description. I already have this font in my files so I just have to pick it up. Now we'll increase its size, maybe this much. Shit, it's too large. Maybe 50 would do. Yeah, perfect. Now get back, select this text layer, tap copy on the top row and tap paste. Open the duplicate text, tap text to edit, remove pre-existing formula, go to date format and select current month name. Tap done on top right, get back and go to paint. We're gonna make the month faded black or grey whatever you prefer. Now get back, go to layer, tap stacking and select horizontal center. If it feels too close, you can increase the margin a bit which you should cause it looks inauthentic this way. So our day and month portion is done. Now we'll add the date. Get one step back. To distinguish between these two stack groups, we can rename them. Though it's completely optional, I'm going to rename this sub layer as day month. Now alongside this day month stack group, we'll add a text layer. Open this text layer, tap text box. Remove the pre-existing formula, tap date format and add the date. Tap done, get back, go to paint and select black for this one. Get back to text, change the font to SF Pro Semi Bold Soft which has soft corners instead of pointy ones which looks more pleasing to the eye. We'll make it larger too. Increase the size by at least 180 or as much as you like. Then get back, go to layer. Tap stacking and select vertical center this time. Now if the padding seems off you can adjust the position of it a bit bringing it to the center. Now to add a little utility to it go to touch. Tap custom action. Select launch app and select your calendar app so every time you tap the widget it will open calendar app for you. Tap save after you've finished and now you have the iOS 17 calendar widget on your Android. And what's satisfying is that you've made it yourself. If you just want this widget file you can get it in my telegram channel. Hope you liked it and if you want more such tutorials let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.